Okay, hello, and welcome to the first episode of the Year 5 Book Chat podcast. Over the next few days, we're going to be talking about some of the books that we've read in Year 5. We're going to be hearing some opinions. Um, we might even do some readings of short stories and bits of writing that the children have done throughout the year. So, I'll get everyone who was here today to introduce themselves. Uh, hi, I'm Freya. Hi, I'm Lucy. Hi, I'm Zach. Hi, I'm Chloe. Hi, I'm Kyle. Hi, I'm Alexia. Okay, and I'm Mr Lomas, and we're going to be talking about um, Macbeth, which is one of the books that we read in the summer term. Actually, we didn't really read it, did we? We all watched it. We sort of watched it. How else did we come across we, the book? We, like, acted out drama type things. Yeah. And... Because you can't really read script. the script. Yeah, we kind of and watched, watched it. Yeah, we, we watched did a, it. We did a mixture of things, didn't we? We, we? we acted out scenes, we watched bits on the, the DVD. And I suppose we did read bits as well. But I think it counts as a book, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so like we usually do in a book chat, we'll start off with some of the general questions. Was there anything you liked about Macbeth? Okay. The fact that he kind of got what he deserved in the end. Okay. But like, not... As well, you'd think that I don't know. But it's quite a satisfying yeah. ending. Okay, Lucy. Yeah. Um, well, I like the fact how, like, Macbeth, he was like nice and brave at the start, but then he turned out to be like a bit cruel, and then Lady Macbeth, she was like cruel at the start, but then she turned out to be like nice and. So well, you, you. Well, she started to. Agree you disagree that she was like, nice, but you liked how the characters changed in unexpected yeah. ways. Okay, yeah. Freya? Well, um, I, I liked how um, the, the story like unravelled as the prophecies went on. So like he thought something about one prophecy, prophecy and then um, because he thought that his character changed and mm. that made the story end how it did. Yeah, so it was almost all... The prophecy. As soon as the prophecy the set it out... It, it was the witch's fault. There was nothing... Oh, well, I think, I think like that's, the, that's an argument we could get to a little bit later. The prophecy just like laid the whole thing out okay. in a way. Um, was there anything that, that anybody disliked about, about the book? Um, I, I found that quite a difficult one to answer because it's definitely one of my favourite Shakespeare plays. But was there anything you disliked about it? Lucy? Um, well, I disliked the fact that... Um, like, I didn't really want all the prophecies to, like, come true. Like, I just wanted them, like, him to decide that he was going to... Because when Lady Macbeth, like, convinced him to kill the king, I just wanted him to, like, just say no and not, not yeah. actually do it. Yeah, you wanted him to be a bit stronger, perhaps. Uh, Chloe? Well, um, it's kind of like a like and dislike. Okay. But um, for the like bit, I like how it all twisted into one. Because, um, and then... Um, kind of what Lucy said, you, when you're reading it, um, you're just saying inside your head, no, don't do it. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. Um, Alexia? Well, I just liked the, I just liked some of the bit, some of the parts because it was like quite gory and people <laughs> dying and everything, really dramatic. So that's when you liked or disliked? Disliked. <laughs> you disliked was a bit too much. Yeah. I think it's a book that could definitely have a an age certificate on it. Yeah. So. Maybe, maybe yeah, not maybe, one you're doing with maybe you. Like you a 12. Maybe yeah. Maybe not one you do with year one or two. Okay. Uh, we did just, it in year two, didn't we? We did, but we, did, we didn't do it in quite the same level of detail, no, did we? No. <laughs> we, we, we certainly upped it a little bit in year five. Yeah. Okay. Um, have you? Was there anything about the book that, that puzzled you? That, that confused you as it as it went along? Uh, Freya. Well. I don't really get how the battle, um, like, the, I don't, I, like, uh, it puzzles me because, like, there's no point in having the battle because it doesn't cause anything. It's not really central to the plot, is it, the battle? No. Um, the fact that Scotland beat Norway doesn't really affect what happens. Yeah, and, and they could easily just be riding across why, fields or something. Why do you think he started with the battle then? Why, why was that... that, that did Shakespeare choose just to start with that scene? Because I think he probably picked it for a reason, yeah? Probably to show that Macbeth was like a good fighter. Maybe. Yeah, I think it was a way to introduce the character of Macbeth. Because you saw Macbeth in, at his best. You saw him as this brave warrior. 
And I think that that made the the changes that happened at Beth even more shocking as they went on. I think he put the best in them because, like, if they hadn't have fought, then um, the king wouldn't like wouldn't think that Beth was good at fighting, and he wouldn't give him like be the thane of Cawdor. Yeah, it definitely set that up, didn't it? Uh, anything that puzzled you about it, Chloe? Well, um, well, it's basically what Lucy said, really. Again, but um. It's how that if the battle hadn't have been fought, then Macbeth wouldn't have been Thane of Cawdor because the person that betrayed Scotland wouldn't have been That's true. Um, yeah. like he wouldn't have been killed. Okay. Yeah. I don't get why um, like Macbeth went crazy because she sort of did it out of nowhere after the feast because of Macbeth. Yeah, I think it was Macbeth. You, you you could see his character changing. Cause you you were, you were you could hear some of his inner thoughts, couldn't you? With Lady Macbeth, it was like one minute she was this ambitious, good, good. wanting to kill Duncan. Yeah, and he came later, totally you came back to her later, and it was almost if it happened off screen. She she was yeah. she well, cracked up, hadn't she? Yeah. She was washing the blood off her hands and sleepwalking. She was insane. Yeah, I think I think that's probably a fair <laughs> description. Well, one of the things that puzzled me was like the character of Lady Macbeth as well, because uh, uh, it puzzled me. Because why would um, like Lady Macbeth like tr like why would Lady Macbeth want to, like King Duncan to be killed in the first place? I think she just wanted to be queen. Yeah, that didn't puzzle she me. Did, I think she that just was, wanted power. Was her ambition, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Fred. Well, there's another thing that puzzled me. It when she went. In the first time to kill Duncan, and then she said it just reminded her of her father. What happened to her father? Mm, yeah, maybe that, it's never really explained, is it? Okay, the next question I want to ask is about the the language of the book and the words that are in the book. One of the reasons that some people, some children, but probably particularly adults, sometimes have a bit of a negative opinion of Shakespeare is because the language is really different to to the way we speak today. How did you find tackling Shakespeare's language? Because we did it with the, whole, the original language pretty much all the way through, didn't we? Yeah. Um, well, I kind of liked how um, in Shakespeare's language um, you don't always know what the words are and when you don't know what the words are it's, um, like you can make up the meaning because so, you know what's going to happen you know what's like because you read it and you know what's what like you can yeah. think of a way to do it because when you read it on you can see what's going to happen yep. so you can just I agree yeah and means. sometimes when you just see it on the page it's difficult to understand but when you see it being acted you know exactly what what the words mean don't you because of the way that the actor chooses to do it kind of makes the play a bit better because okay. when you don't know the meaning of the word you think of you're trying to think of what it means and it, you don't really understand it until you see what happens yeah yeah i have to say i, I one of the things there is things that i like about it is, is, is the language yeah. um, well, i like it but i sometimes find it a bit confusing because when you're reading it um some, because the words are completely different and when we would use um, words uh, differently yeah. today, you don't know what they mean. Sometimes, yeah. So it's better to see it like acted out because then you know the context of the words. I think that's a really, really good point and I think one of the reasons people have that negative opinion is because they only ever read it. And I, it's not really meant to be read, is it? It's, it's supposed to be a play that's supposed to be watched. Well, I don't really like the language. Okay. It's because like, I like um, like knowing what the book means, and I don't like getting confused. Um, so with the language, it confuses me, and then I'm like, I, I have to read it over and over again okay. until I know what it is. But with like normal books that we have now, it's English, okay. and it's fully English, so... I know what all of them words mean and it doesn't confuse me, I can just read on, yeah. Did you enjoy performing it when we did that? Yeah, I did yeah. enjoy performing it, yeah. Okay, what was your favourite line from the play? Can you remember it now? Oh, yeah. um, I think it's where he sees the dagger, right at the end where he says um, something about Duncan, he says, for it is now, for someone needs to have him in hell. 
Um, I liked Lady Macbeth's do it speech when like she was telling him to kill Duncan. I like that bit. That was that was quite intense. That one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 it's one of my favourites as well. Um, well, I've kind of got two ones like um um uh like a massive piece of speech. It's the one that Macbeth says at the end when he finds out that Lady Macbeth has been like Remember how that killed starts? herself. Um, she should have died here after. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been time for such a moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. I think that's my favourite one as well. And and Lady Macbeth, um, kind of the one where it says top to the toe full of um, Darius cruelty. Yeah. That's one of my so favourites. That's a good choice. Mine. I've got two. Okay. So the. The first one is the tomorrow, like, yeah. tomorrow speech, and the other one is where Lady Macbeth is um, trying to wash the blood off her hands even though there's no blood yeah. there. Because she's out, yeah. out. Yeah. Some, yeah, that's good. Okay, um, I, I'd be careful answering this one because it sounds like a crazy question to start with, but I think that if you think about it, it's not really. But has anything that happens in the book or the play ever happened to you? Now, uh, this is a book about kings and murders and battles, so it might not be the easiest one to answer. But I, I, just, has anything that happens to any of the characters ever happened to you? Because I think some of the themes, you know, like jealousy and bravery, you, know, you might be able to relate to those. I, I'm hoping you're not going to admit to, uh, to, to, to murdering any kings or queens. But, I okay. have. Well, sometimes, like, the way that Lady Macbeth tries to convince um, Macbeth how to kill Duncan, well, that sort of happens to me and my brother, because my brother's like, come on, Lexa, do it, I'm not, I don't want to do it, come on, do it for me then, come on, just yeah, do that's it. Good. Maybe, you could be, maybe you could pick up some tips from Lady Macbeth to yeah. convince, yeah, <laughs> just convince people to do yeah. things. Anybody else? It's quite a difficult one to answer, isn't it? Like... Um, when Macbeth first like hears the prophecy, he's in two minds, and because he like doesn't want to do it and he does want to do it at the same time. So I, I've had a lot of times where I'm in two minds about something to do if I want to do it and yeah. if I don't want to do it. Yeah, so. that's good. No, that's good. Um, well, it's kind of happens, you know, when you do something and you kind of get rewarded, but then. Someone you know was trying to do that too, but they didn't get rewarded, so they're kind of jealous yeah. and they won't talk to you and things. Yeah. That's a bit like, do you mean the bit with uh, Macbeth and Banquo? Yeah. Yeah, particularly, yeah. Okay. Okay, the next question I want to ask is to do with the setting of the play, um, the, the place that it's set and the time it's set in. How important do you think that is to the play? Is it really important that it's set at that time? Or could it be set anywhere? What, what do you think? Well, um, I think that it kind of has to be set um, old and up, up the past. Okay, because, tell me more. Um, because well, we don't generally think anymore, even though we respect like the royal family, we don't think that they've been selected by God to be the king or queen. Mm -hmm. um, so That's a big part of the play, isn't it? That, that idea that killing killing the king is the worst thing you could it's possibly like do. God. Yeah. Um, well, if it, it would have to be set in the past because we don't really have battles with swords and things. Mm -hmm. And if that hasn't happened, now that I think about it, um, they um, we would never know that Macbeth was a fighter. And they, when they get back on horses, mm -hmm. and we usually get in cars now, and like bikes and things, and they like had horses, so... Yeah. Can anybody en envisage that the play could be set in modern times? What would have to change about it? What would the, if, if you were directing it and you, you wanted to make it a modern version of it, because it has been done as like modern versions, but what would you have to change about it? Well, like, you need to make it more modern, so like electric lights and stuff. Yeah, do that kind of goes yeah. without saying. <laughs> but what, how, how would the big bits of the plot change if you were to make it... Um, like a modern day version. Like, he wouldn't be as scared of the witches and he'd probably Maybe think not. they were fake so he wouldn't believe the prophecy and he probably would never kill them. Maybe not. What about the idea of killing the king or the queen? What would you have to change that to if you're doing it as a modern one? 
don't know. Yeah. Um, well, if you wanted to change that, I don't know, like, you wouldn't really change a lot of it because you need to have, um, like because that's deep. like the main plot of you do, the yeah. whole thing. Um, so, you wouldn't, you could maybe change the person who you want to be, mm. like, because cause we have a queen now, so it wouldn't yeah. it wouldn't really work because um, because Macbeth is a male and he doesn't really want to be a queen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think he does. Uh, yeah, what do you think, Lucy? Um, well, they wouldn't. Um, Macbeth wouldn't really send a letter to his wife. He'd probably like just text. <laughs> have to text. Might have to text Lady Macbeth or email her or maybe tweet her. <laughs> um, I, I guess it could work, but I don't think it would have the same power, would it? Because yeah, what, what Chloe said about this idea of the divine right of kings, we don't really th believe anymore. Maybe if, if Macbeth killed the president, or like the prime minister, that, that, that could be a way that to... That would probably fit in more than... Yeah, to move it to modern times. If Macbeth killed Donald Trump. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> maybe, maybe, it's a shame at the end of the year, that could have been a wow, couldn't it? Yeah. We could, we could, we could have rewritten it as a play script. But, uh, if Macbeth killed Donald Trump. Um, well, one of the things that I think you'd have to change was probably the witches, because you don't really find like witches now. You'd, well, you don't even find like aliens or I think anything. I really. might be to do with more the fact that witches—they really believed in witches, didn't they? Yeah. It was a big do. part of their lives, and we we kind of don't so much. Yeah. So maybe we'd have to change. Then that. that would change the plot a lot. Maybe. Okay, I guess you've done brilliantly. By the way, the last question I want to ask. Um, well, that's kind of two, I'm not sure which one. Do you think the story carries a message at all? Do you think it ha does have a message? I'm not so sure. Um, what do you think? Because the obvious one that you've said earlier. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Um, well, it's like... I can't remember what religion it's from, but it's karma, where if you do something bad, like Macbeth did and killed the king, then you would get something bad like to happen yeah, to you. Bad. And then that, because he got killed in the end, so that's like karma. Yeah, it's like Carl said about his satisfying ending. He, he, he <laughs> kind of, we've argued a lot in class whether he gets what he deserves or not. But yeah, yeah. yeah that's kind I of. I guess he does. You see. It's which is fault. If they had never told him the prophecy, they didn't then he thoughts. would have never known, and then he would have never told his wife, and then his wife yeah. would have never convinced yeah, him yeah. to kill the king. It's exactly. Macbeth's fault because he went to the battle in the first place. Well, um, <laughs> given that given that we spent almost a week debating this in class, I think it might be a, 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 an argument for another time. But what do you think, Freya? Um, well, I think it's uh, like he was trying to say, Shakespeare was trying to say, if you do something bad, then it'll always come back at you. So, like, if if you did, if you killed the king, like, um, uh, Macbeth did, because the king is chosen, because they thought mm -hmm. the king was chosen by God, um bad would come back on you because he went up to king and the bad would come back on him. I think it kind of says that if you commit a crime it will always come back to haunt you and give you bad luck or something like that. Well, maybe there is some sort of a morality tale there in Macbeth, yeah? Um, well I think it gives you a message that like if someone wants uh, if someone wants you to do something, but then you have the you don't want to, um, then I would think the message would be like just to do what you think, do what your heart says, yeah. or, like not listen to other people. Because sometimes, like you, you can be right, but you might listen to other people, and then they might be wrong, and you might. Yeah, get definitely that. a bit of peer pressure and things yeah. like that. I think. Okay, finally then, um, what would you recommend that that, that people? watched the play or read the play and what would you tell your friends that haven't read it or haven't watched it about the book? Would it be something you'd recommend? Well I think I would recommend it but you'd have to tell them about the language because mm. they might not understand it and because we've already read it mm. um, we understand the language yeah. so other people might not yeah it's almost like you have to say to them that, that this has got some old-fashioned language you might find it difficult but it's worth it yeah. it's almost like you have to sell it to them a little bit doesn't it I'd only like recommend it to people who are like old enough yeah. to like know 
about like I think so too because yeah. even even if you take away the blood and guts and gore which there's plenty of some of the themes are still quite grown up aren't they and I, I think some younger children probably it would be a bit lost on them I think you get more out of it if you are a little bit older yeah well I, I would I would recommend this book to them but I would like have to say to them like be, pre be prepared because there's lots of blood and <laughs> yeah. everything very cool. Right? In the play, is there actually any actual blood? Um, well, there was a bit, wasn't there? The, the globe one we saw. Oh, yeah. the, there was a, a few battles, but a lot of the a lot of the really bloody bits are off stage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like the, the murder of Duncan happens off stage, doesn't it? I would I would rather do it for older people like Kyle. It's basically Kyle's one because um, because you wouldn't really talk to Foundation about it because the Foundation wouldn't know Definitely anything. Not. It wouldn't know what you were saying whatsoever at it all. Might give them what? nightmares as well. The witch yeah. Definitely. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your fantastic book chat. Um, I've, today I've had Freya, Lucy, Zach, Chloe, Kyle, and Alexia with me, and we'll see you again.